Hey, what's up everybody? Brandon back again. BBSM Boss Barbell Strength Method Cycle 2. Beginning of a new week, so week 5, and we start each new week with back squats. So first working set here is 440 for 3 reps. Now looking at the programming today, I was actually really looking forward to this day, even though we're going to be increasing the weight quite significantly. In fact, the next 3 working sets you're going to see is 470 for 3 sets of 3 reps. Now I was looking at this as a good thing because typically on these days we do 5 reps, so this is the first time we've done 3 reps in a long time. So I thought, hey, you know what, this might be a bit easier because I'll only have to power through three reps. However, this was extremely difficult for me today, and it really took me, honestly, the first two working sets of this to really feel comfortable. So here you see my bar speed isn't that great. However, by the second and third working sets, what you'll see is that start to pick up a little bit. I'm not sure if this means I really need to work more on my mobility and warming up, although I have been spending quite a good amount of time doing that. You know, between doing like 10 to 15 minutes on the elliptical, doing some stuff to open up my hips, doing some foam rolling, using a little cross ball. I probably spend a good 20 to 30 minutes getting loose beforehand. However, I guess nothing can really pepper your Angus enough to get under the bar and do some heavy ass squats. So here you see my last working set go up. And on this time, what I'm really trying to focus on in my mind is to be as explosive as possible. I think oftentimes in my mind, I'm too worried too much about, you know, making sure that I'm going down deep enough making sure I'm taking deep breaths that I don't actually ever really think about just really exploding up with the bar. So I tried to really focus on this, this particular set. And I think I find that that really works. So you can see the bar speed in this set is pretty good considering it's my fourth working set overall and third working set at 470. So from here, we moved on to pause squats. And on these pause squats, it's a little bit different in the fact that I'm keeping the bar a little bit higher. So this is more in my traps. Whereas before I do a low bar squat, I'm also using a medium stance where before I was going a little bit wider. And my goal here is to pause at the bottom before exploding up. Now here you see my first working set, and this is at 345 pounds. Now looking at this in the video, I don't feel like I paused a lot these first or second sets. So as we went on, I tried to make sure that I paused a little bit longer. So moving on to the second working set here, we bumped it up to 365 pounds. Again, the goal here is to go down in the hole, pause at the bottom, and then explode up. And as the weight tends to get heavier, the actual speed of the bar might not seem as quick, but definitely I am definitely, that's all I definitely, I'm trying to explode as fast as possible. One of the things that I'm trying to do when I pause at the bottom is really get settled in a comfortable position. You'll find that when you do this, your body will almost automatically adapt to where it feels the strongest because again, you're trying to balance and maintain this heavy weight and then again, explode up and I'm really trying to squeeze my glutes through on this. So for these pause squats today, we only had three working sets. Again, the first one is at 345 and then two other working sets at 365. And you can tell really right here that I'm trying to pause a little bit better. It's tough, but I think it's definitely helping transition to better squats overall. From there, we moved over to stiff-legged deadlifts. Now, my goal here today was to not wear my belt, although if I felt that I needed to, I would definitely strap it on, but I didn't need to in this case. So here you see my first working set, which is done at 295 pounds, and the goal here was to get six reps. One of the things that I'm trying to work on with these stiff-legged deadlifts is pulling my chest through once the bar hits my knees. This is something Dan had noticed on my actual deadlifts and said, really try to pull your chest through. So that's something I'm trying to work on here. Now, moving on to the second working set, we have 335 pounds. And again, you can tell that I'm not wearing a belt and I'm also trying to maintain this double overhand grip, really trying to work on my grip strength. If I had to and had an issue with grip, what I would probably do is use my competition style grip from my deadlift, but I can find with this weight that double overhand isn't really a problem. Plus again, we're only doing six reps here. If we went higher, then that might be something to consider as well. We then moved on to two final working sets on stiff-legged deadlift, which are each done at 355 pounds. Now, one of the great things about this program that I've noticed is it's constantly progressing in terms of the weight used, but not so much so that it ever seems overly daunting. Now, I know from other programs I've been on in the past, you look at the numbers and you're like, holy crap, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. However, this program, it's all within reach, but it's still very tough and very taxing. And that, of course, makes it very enjoyable when you're actually able to do all of these working sets. So here you see my last working one again. This is 355. Goal again is for six reps. You can really see in my face that I'm starting to feel it by now. But again, feels really good in my opinion. 
So after finishing this up, we've moved on to three sets of pull-ups, called for as many reps as possible. You're only seeing my first set here. I believe I got 18. The second two sets I had to do following this weren't that great. I believe I got 12 reps each. If you're interested in seeing exactly what I got, you can always follow me on Fitocracy, which is linked below. After this, I also did three sets of hanging leg raises. I didn't get any film at that point just because there started to be more people in the gym. So I didn't really want to set up my camera for something that you guys have seen plenty of times as well. And that wrapped up the workout overall, a solid day. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to upload another video before Christmas and the holiday. So if I don't, I want to just make sure everyone has a great holiday. I'm also going to show you a quick clip from my parents' house earlier yesterday. They got a new puppy. His name is Bo. There you kind of see him there. It's a great little dog. Um, but I'll try to put up some other videos. But if I don't, make sure you guys all have a great holiday. Don't track your macros. Enjoy the time with your family. And as always, stay big.